Today we're delving into Divi Shape Dividers. I'm going to show you how to use them and also how you can make sure they are great across whatever device is using. If this interests you, stick around and I'm going to take you through step by step the entire process. My name is Paul C. This is WP Test, the channel where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. So not long ago, Divi brought out the ability to start adding shape dividers to add visual separation to the various sections on your website. In this video, I just want to demonstrate how easy it is to start working with them and some of the options you have available. I also want to make sure you understand that you can control things like the desktop, the tablet and the mobile view to make sure that each of these dividers looks optimal on any device you choose to work with. Okay, so let's just open up Divi. Let's jump in there and take a look at how we can start working with these shape dividers and add some visual interest to our different website sections. So here's an example of the kind of thing we can do with the dividers in Divi. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's a nice way of separating things out. It's much more visually appealing than a simple straight line. So here we are inside the Divi editor itself. And as you can see, we've got our hero image at the top. We've set a parallax effect on there and we've just created a simple overlay text with a call to action on it. But how do we create these dividers? Well, it's very, very easy. All we need to do is come onto the module we want to work with, come onto the cog icon to go into the settings, and in there we've got three separate tabs. We've got the content tab, the design, and the advanced tab. If we jump onto the design tab, you can see we've got a whole range of different things, and what we're looking for is the dividers option. Click and expand that out. We've got two things we can do. We can set a divider on the top and or the bottom, so we can just choose exactly where we want this to be. Now, for our example, we're going to choose the bottom option. Underneath, we've got the option for the different divider styles. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Next up, we've got a range of different colors, including transparency, so we can make sure that any kind of divider we create will flow nicely into the second section or the previous section, depending upon whether it's the top or the bottom. That way, we can make sure our design looks fantastic. Then we've got divider height, horizontal repeat, and then we can flip them horizontally and vertically. So that's the options we currently have. So let's make sure we've got the bottom is the one that's selected. We'll scroll down the page a little bit so we can see the bottom of our hero image. And let's take a look at the different dividers we've got. Click and expand, you can see we've got a whole range of different options available. But these are not the only option. Like I say, we can flip these horizontally and vertically so we can make sure that we can get them to look exactly how we want it to. We can also adjust the number of times this repeats and the scaling and so on. So let's take a look at that in action. Let's just choose this sort of wavy line, and you can see that creates the wavy line effect, which is great. Next up, if we want to make sure that the color is in line with the previous or the next section, we can choose any of these colors, and you can see it immediately picks up the color inside the divider itself. So let's just set that now back to white to make sure it matches in with our design. Then we've got the divider height, which we can adjust. You can see we can easily adjust that. And again, this is one of those things that allows us to change the actual overall effect and look of the particular divider that we choose. So we can tweak and adjust this to get exactly what we want. If we want to configure this to make sure it works the best across the different devices that we're using, whether it's a desktop, tablet, or mobile, we can open this option up, and you can see we can now set different values for each of the different devices it's going to be viewed on. So this is a nice way of making sure that everything looks great, no matter what the page is actually being viewed on. If we want to go out of that, we just simply click on the X, or if we want to reset all the value, we can do that by using the little reset arrow. So let's just jump back out of that. Next up, we've got the divider horizontal repeats. So you can see we can adjust this to increase or decrease the number of repeating patterns that are actually displayed. So depending upon the divider type that you choose, this will have a, a greater or lesser effect. Again, you can see we can change this on any of the three different types of devices and we can reset those values as well. So really easy to work with. We've then got the divider flip, so we can flip horizontally or vertically. So you can see we can easily just make any adjustments we want on there using these simple options. And again, we've got this reset value option. So really easy to go through and set things up. So just for the sake of this video, let's just come back in and choose the design that we had on the demo site. We'll reset the values, we'll adjust the divider height, and once we're happy with that, we can click on the little tick mark to save those options, and we can come down, expand this out, and save our now created divider section on our hero image. Let's just jump over to our test page, refresh, and we should see everything now working perfectly with our new divider in place. So super, super easy with Divi. 
So there we go, the dividers in Divi. Very easy to use, very intuitive, and also great that we can make sure that they look good on all the different types of devices that we're working with. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but let me know in the comment section why you didn't enjoy the video. It helps us move forward and create better content for you. Speaking of the comment section, if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything you'd like to see covered in future videos, please pop those comments in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation started. Okay, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tutton. Until next time, take care.